All right, so in this video today, what we're gonna be doing is uh, opening up this Astron RS35M power supply. And that will go very nicely with our ICOM IC7300 HF high frequency ham radio, which we opened in a previous video, and you can see a link to that in the description down below. So, ready? Okay, ready. ready. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, so it looks like it came really nicely packaged, and what we've got here is some uh, some styrofoam corner blocks. One for you, one for you. One for, ooh, those are in there nice and tight. That's good. And just good packaging. Yep. Right. We've got a schematic here for the power supply, a little warranty card, Ooh. and Benjamin, if you wouldn't mind doing the honors of lifting this out just carefully because it's it is heavy. I cannot. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> All right, somebody take the box away, please. Let's check and see if there's anything else in there. There's a power cord. All right, so the power cord actually just plugs into the wall. It's a normal three-prong grounded outlet, uh, grounded plug. Um, and then what we have is the actual power supply itself, which if we look across the front here, uh, we have both amps mm -hmm. and volts. And so, uh, Benjamin, uh, how many volts is a is the ICOM IC7300 supposed to, to use normally? About three, 13 volts. Yep, it's about 13, 13.8, something like that, yeah. is what it would normally use. But there's a range that it, it falls in. And Hannah, how about the amps? How many how many amps does it usually use? Around 5 to 30. Yep, so it, it does range. Uh, it varies as well. It's going to use somewhere in the neighborhood of about 22, I think, is the normal, but not not entirely sure of that. But it will peak up to, I think, around 25, 27. Um, so either way, th this power supply has the capability of handling anything that the ICOM IC7300 throws at it. So in order to hook it up, uh, which we'll do in another video, all we should have to do is, I'll turn this around so you can see the back side of it. We have, uh, oh, right on this side here, we have the two, uh, the two terminals that we would be able to use with the ICOM 7300's power supply, the black and red fused in line uh, power supply here or power cable so we will go here with these and then just plug in the power cable very nice meters across the front there really like the look of this thing it weighs quite a bit it is heavy very very heavy but it is a linear power supply not a switching power supply so which means that um, we're gonna we should get a nice clean um, um, clean clean voltage consistent voltage from this all the time and uh, it will generate some heat, undoubtedly, but it will uh, that will help to keep us nice and toasty in the ham shack uh, on uh, the cold cold winter days. So, all right. So I think that's about it for the Astron RS thirty five M power supply. There you have it. Okay. Until next time, or until robots replace us. See you later.